Something we do on the show, which is tradition. I mean, considering this is only our second summer right. doing the show, <laughs> and we're doing it again, is the Song of the Summer 2024. Mm-hmm. Kind of a leftover from my days in radio. Right, right. I still listen to Top 40 music. Oh, how can you not? It's fun. Typically Keeps males. Fresh. <laughs> yeah. They stop consuming new music around 35, 38. Oh, wow. Somewhere in there. So here you are defying the statistics. That's A- hot. Well, ask any male <laughs> over the age of 40, what do you think of today's pop music? Oh, right. They're always going to say it's crap. 99 out of 100, I think, will say, mm-hmm. ah, that's bullshit. Yeah, right. We bring back Motley Crue or something. Um, <laughs> but I still love pop music, and it's a great time for pop music. Right. Uh, another plug for my buddy Brad, now 105.1. They play only new music, mm-hmm. so you can get familiar really quick. Mm-hmm. Um, just a bunch of great stuff on the radio right now. Olivia Rodrigo. Oh, she's so good. Selena. I mean, I will say some of her stuff makes me feel like I'm in high school again, which I don't mm-hmm. love because tra- trauma, <laughs> you know, but. Taking off this dress, <laughs> kicking off my shoes, because I'll be single soon. <laughs> All right. So Sean Ross, my buddy Sean Ross from the radio days, from RadioInsight.com, mm-hmm. has declared as the summer song of 2024, Shaboozy. A bar song, Tipsy. Which, how interesting is it that it's country pop? (laughs) Yeah. Country pop is making a huge comeback. And I've even noticed a really big trend in like cowboy aesthetics Uh around here. I I mean, just in general, around this generation. Just recently have purchased cowboy boots and a cowboy hat. I have. You're fully committed to your moonlighting gig over there at 96 1 and 102 on the Wolf. Well, you know, I know I'm not always the part internally, so I at least want to look the part externally. (laughs) (laughs) You know, especially because I'm kind of posh. Like, I can't can't go camping, I can't pee in the woods. So I at least need to look the part. (laughs) You. You really look great. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. We, you I'm wore definitely... your boots to the fair food tasting, mm-hmm. judging boots. thing we did this week. I always get compliments on them every time I wear them, at least one each day. And I yeah, love that. They're gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Actually, they'd look really good with this dress. I should wear, wear it with this Yes. Time. Yes, they would. Yeah. Shabuzi, a bar song, which we've already mentioned, and we've already mentioned on this show mm-hmm. that um, the country crossover stuff is really big right now. Yeah. So if you want to be on the bleeding edge of pop culture, it's this show. And I know we're a con I'm discovering more and more. We're a content farm for the other major media outlets in town. We talk about earwigs. They talk about earwigs. We, you know, we talk about a business. They talk about a business. It's just, it's ridiculous, but you'll always hear it here first Mm -hmm. folks. Uh, Exhale resort and spa at 1421 first street in Idaho falls now open. I know. I'm so excited. Now, you might think, hasn't Exhale been around for a minute? And they have, but they just opened. their resort, baby. Their resort. Yeah. I'm so excited. Apparently, they've got pools and pickleball, and I think hot tubs, too. And bungalows. Yeah. So you can stay the night. Their bungalows look so cute and good, and I'm so excited. I can't wait to stay there. Yeah, same. Now, we've been a couple of times for the little package. Uh, Which is also so nice, and I think a pretty dang good deal for what you're getting. Yeah. Massage, facial, soak, manicure, pedicure. Yeah. And that's for two people for what? Under 400? Uh, It's somewhere in that ballpark. Yeah. Which I think is pretty darn good. Depending on if you get... I think you can get like a... 45 minute massage or yeah, 80 you, minute massage. Yeah, you can massage. go a little more ham or a little less ham. Exactly. We go directly in the middle amount of ham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We like yeah. medium amounts of ham. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the uh, resort is now open to adults only. Mm-hmm. Oh, here we here's the list. Seven cabins for an overnight stay, hot pools, waterfalls, fire pits, pickleball, cornhole, <laughs> seating areas for couples to... Oh, seating areas. You have benches, do you? Wow. <laughs> anyway, it sounds really great. And so sassy. <laughs> it's, well, it's nice to have another staycation place yeah. other than Destinations Inn. It totally is. I completely agree. Or one of the local hotel's hot tub suites. Yeah. I kind of wonder if you um, like rent a room, if you maybe get a discount on some of their other um, uh, services. I wonder. I think I that'd be if there's kind like of a nice deal. Package deals. One would think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cause that would be really great. Like if you could just like plan your day so that you spend the entire morning at the, like inside of the spa and then your evening in the bungalows. Get some pizza delivered. <sighs> watch some Netflix. Some pickle pizza. Chill. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Who in Idaho Falls wants to do the pickle pizza? Oh, anyone, please. <laughs> I'll be your first customer. So exhale I'll spa. Get so fat. 
used to be Exhale Day Spa and Salon. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, Exhale Resort and Spa, you are IFAF this week, Chris Pie 5, 21 Finger Gun Salute, and Chef's Kiss. To you. And your One of my favorite places in town. Yeah. (laughs) 